This video is all about perimeter. It's lesson 15a. And remember that there's links in the description in case you need them. All right. Don't want you to get lost or confused. Perimeter is the measure around the sides of a flat shape. Flat shape is a plane. It's like the length of a fence around a backyard. A polygon is a closed plane figure that is formed by three or more line segments. So the flat shape is a plane, and by closed, they mean like this. It wouldn't be open. It wouldn't have one of the sides open. That's an open figure. We're talking about perimeters of closed figures, almost like sheep would be inside of a fence and they couldn't get out. To find the perimeter of a polygon, we add the length of its sides. It's that easy. We have 80 feet, 25 feet, 10, 10, 70, and 35. We just add them all up. It's like the length of fence you would need. We get 230 feet. That's the perimeter. It's the measure of the outside edge. See? All these line segments. Sometimes the measures of line segments are missing. And to find the missing length, we'll need to understand the rules and properties for that figure. So the properties of a square are that it has four sides of equal length and four square corners that measure 90 degrees. So it's got boxy corners, doesn't it? Well, if a square has four sides of equal length and we've only got three inches written on one of the sides, well, if one side is three inches, all the sides are three inches. That means the perimeter is 3 inches times 4. It's 12 inches. See? The definition of a square helped us with that. A rectangle has four sides and four corners that are right angles. So they have boxy corners also, don't they? They're 90 degrees. And the opposite sides are parallel to each other, just like a square. This side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this side. Well, same thing with a rectangle, except it's got long sides and short sides, doesn't it? See that? So if we're given that this side is 6 feet and this side is 15 feet, we can find the perimeter of the whole thing. If that's 15 feet, then that's got to be 15 feet. And if that's 6 feet, that's got to be 6 feet, because that's the definition of a rectangle, right? The perimeter would be 15 plus 15 plus 6 plus 6. That would be 42 feet. That little line means feet. Or we could even use multiplication. We could say 2 times 15 plus 2 times 6. That would give us 30 plus 12, which would give us 42 feet. Okay? So you can either just add them up or you can use multiplication. All right? Especially for regular polygons that have the same length of sides. Okay? An irregular polygon would have different side measures. Regular polygons have measures that are the same, okay? So I want you to remember that FT is the abbreviation for feet. We can also use that little apostrophe. And IN is the abbreviation for inches, and we can use two of them, like little quotes. And YD is yard. MM would be millimeter. CM would be centimeter. M would be meter, and KM would be kilometer, okay? So here we have a rectangle, and it tells us that this side is 6.8 centimeters, and the top is 12.2 centimeters. So we can use multiplication to find the perimeter. We do 2 times the 12.2 plus 2 times the 6.8. 2 times 12.2 is 24.4. 2 times 6.8 is 13.6. .6. We add these together and stack them, line the decimals up, right? 4 and 6 is 10, so we regroup the 1 and put a 0 down. And 1 and 4 and 3 is 8, and 2 and 1 is 3, so we get 38 centimeters. See? So even if this is missing the measures, you can use common sense, can't you? If that side's 6.8, that side's got to be 6.8, okay? Now take a look at this one. We need to find the perimeter for this one, but this length down here isn't given. We're given this side and this side, and these are the same length, aren't they? And we're given 10 and 8 and 10 and 8 and 10. So how would we find out what this length is? Well, actually, 
we can bring this 10 down. We can bring this 10 down. And we can bring this 10 down. Because we can see that it's got square corners, right? So that means we've got 10, 20, 30 for this side. We can do 2 times 20 feet plus 3 times 10 for the top, 1, 2, 3, plus 2 times 8, plus another 3 times 10, a 30. So we can add 30 to this. When we add them up, we get 86 plus that 30, we get 116 feet for the total perimeter. So do you see how I just brought these down? Because this side has square corners, almost as if it's a rectangle. So I just brought that down, I brought that down, and I brought that down, almost as if it was like this. See? So we know that this side is 10, 20, 30, because we brought these lengths down. See? And we can use the given measures of the other segments to determine a missing measure. Okay? So let's look at that again. Here we've got a rectangle, but this corner is missing, okay? And it just says that this length is x and this length is y. So I want you to remember that a variable like these, it's just a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown amount. So instead of writing a question mark or putting an empty box like they did in second grade, we just put an x or a y. So we can see that it's got square corners, so if that's 100 centimeters, then this side is 100 centimeters minus this 70 would give us that x. Do you see that? Because we could just lower this, couldn't we? We could just lower this down, and that would be the missing piece coming down, and 70 and 30 makes 100, so the x must be 30. See that? And if this side is 70, and we've got square corners, and this side is 50, we can bring this one this way, and 70 minus 50 is 20. We know that's 20. So we know that's 30, and we know that's 20 just from common sense. See? By imagining that it went to the side or went down. So we can use common sense and subtraction to determine, to determine the values for x and y. Then we can find the perimeter. The right side is 70 centimeters. The left side is 50 plus this y. So y must be 20. And the top is 100 centimeters. And the bottom is 70 plus x. So in order for the 70 plus x to equal 100, well, the x must be 30. See? And then we just total up all the numbers. We total up all of those centimeters and get 240 centimeters, and we know the perimeter. Now, this doesn't work for all polygons, okay? So don't think it's going to work for some weird shape. It won't, all right? And we'll get into that more when we get into geometry. So I want you to take a look at this. They teach this in grade school. We've got this grid paper, and we've got a perimeter drawn around these squares. See that? We got a 4, a 2, a 3, a 4, a 7, a 6, and each square is one unit. And a unit can represent any increment, inches, feet, yards, miles, centimeters, meters, so on, kilometers, it doesn't matter. They're just considered units. And we can add up the number of units to find the perimeter. So you would actually add how many squares this line goes across. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, see? And we just go all the way around, and we find out the perimeter is 26 units, okay? So if it doesn't say what the measurement is, then it's just units, okay? Whatever the units it's supposed to represent. But it's not that big of a deal, okay? And we're going to discuss perimeters more in video 15D, only in 15A right now. We're also going to get into it in the last unit, Unit 4, for Lesson 23, when we get into geometry, we're going to start getting into this, okay? So now you should be ready to do that skill focus on page 171, and 
You have to read the instructions. It says to do not use a calculator for part A of the skill focus. You can use it for part B, but don't use it for part A, all right? Our next video is going to be area of squares and rectangles. So we did perimeter just now. That's going around the outside edge. Area is how much is on the inside, okay? If you need more help, there's really good grade school videos discussing the units like this and perimeter in the grade 3, grade 4, and grade 6 playlists, okay? And here's links to them that'll be in this description. So you can just click on them and watch them, and you'll really understand perimeter, okay? So I will see you next video. Keep trying. We're slowly getting through this. We're almost halfway through this entire GED thing. I think we're a little more than halfway through, okay? So stick with it. You'll be fine. Keep trying. Bye.